What's up, gamers? GamerDad here, back for another item shop review. It is Saturday, November 25th, just past 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, which means we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing. And if you're watching and you haven't done so yet, please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks so much for, for your support. And without further ado, let's get to the review. So, as you can see, we have the Star Wars items returning to the item shop this evening. This, uh, there we go. The new interface is kind of annoying for me. I'm getting used to it. So we have the Anakin Skywalker outfit from Chapter 4, Season 2. With the Jedi Holocron back bling for 1,500 V-Bucks. We then have the Lil Pod Racer emote. It's a, tra a traversal one, and it's 500 V-Bucks. We've got Padme Amidala. I think this is a crisp, clean-looking outfit. We then have the Japor Snippet Back Bling, 1,500 V-Bucks. We then have the Darth Maul Bundle. So Darth Maul was introduced uh, in Chapter 4, Season 2 as well. Cool looking dark side skin. You could have earned all of these items in a previous Star Wars event, by the way. That's why I own them all. We have the Sith Probe Droid Back Bling. The Maul's Poleaxe Pickaxe. The Sith Infiltrator Glider. And lastly, the Medicine Presence Wrap. So if you wanted to pick this up now, it should be 2200 V-Bucks for you if you don't own any of those items. We then have the Clone Trooper Pack. So I think this is a really cool pack here. Additionally, though, you could have earned a lot of this through the previous Star Wars event. We have the 501st Trooper, 212th Battalion Trooper, the Clone Trooper, Wolf Pack tro uh, Trooper, Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, the Corsicant Guard, as well as the Republican Army Backpack Backbling. So if you don't own any of these items, you're looking at, I think it's 1,600 V-Bucks for that, and that's a lot of loot. Otherwise, we also have the Kylo Ren outfit. This one's an earlier Star Wars outfit released in Chapter 2, Season 1. We also have Kylo's Cape Backbling, 1,500. Then we have the Vibro Scythe Pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks. The Dark Side Emote is 200. This one's a cool one. Next up into the Goalbound category, we have the Star Playmakers Bundle. Four football slash soccer themed outfits. Um, we have Poised Playmaker. And so you see the number on the back there. You can change up that number. And then you can choose the country you're representing and you'll get their uh, specific colors. So then we have Finesse Finisher, Clinical Crosser, and lastly, Dynamic Dribbler. It's 2,500 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you can get any of those outfits on their own. Then we have the Champions of the Pitch bundle. So this includes Midfield Maestro. And of course, you have the same customization options with the male versions. You have Super Striker, Stalwart Sweeper, and finally, Aerial Threat. 2,500 V-Bucks for that bundle, or you can pick up any of the outfits on their own. Now the gear, we've got the Elite Cleat Pickaxe from Season 4 for 500 V-Bucks. The Vuvuzela Pickaxe is 800 V-Bucks. It is reactive as well. And we have the Goldbound Glider up next at 500 V-Bucks. The Kick-Ups Emote is here from Season 4, 500 V-Bucks. And the Fancy Footwork Emote comes in at 500 V-Bucks, and it is Traversal. We've got that Red Card Emote, Season 4, 200 So these other items here, these were released last evening. I will skip and forego those. We've also got Waypoint from Season 7. Two different styles for Waypoint. Pretty decent outfit. It comes with the Signal Hub back bling. And it's 1,200 V-Bucks. We then have the Tack Bats pickaxe for 500 V-Bucks. The Scanline Animated Wrap is 300 V-Bucks from Season 9. The Survival Specialist outfit is 1,200 V-Bucks. It's from Season 1. Then that emo from Season 10 is 500 V-Bucks. The Say-So emo, Chapter 2, Season 4 at 500 V-Bucks. Smooth Moves is 800 V-Bucks. Boneless, 500 V-Bucks. Next up, we have Shiver from the Ice Kingdom set, Chapter 2, Season 1. I think it's a cool-looking outfit. It's like an ice devil. And the Ice Wings Back Bling goes very well with that outfit, 1,500 V-Bucks. 
We have the Animal Jackets bundle featuring Flap Jackie. This is from the Animal Jacket set, Season 6. You have the default as well as the black and white style options. Then you also get the Nibbles back bling with the black and white option as well. We then have Growler, this creepy looking monstrosity. Black and white option also available. And then we have the Woofs back bling with the black and white option. The Jack Spammer pickaxe. And lastly, the Poofy Paracel glider. We've got the dog and or the rabbit style. So it's 2,000 V-Bucks for that bundle. Otherwise, you can get either of the outfits with their back blings, the glider, or pickaxe on their own, and that would be it for this item shop refresh. In terms of my favorite additions, I'm a fan of the Padme outfit. I do like the Clone Trooper pack. I think the Clone Troopers look great. Kylo Ren is also pretty sweet. And then I'd probably say Shiver. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything for the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video. And if you're watching and you haven't done so, please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad. All one word, all capital letters. Thanks so much for your support. Have a great evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.